What up, homies and homettes? It's your boy, Darcella, and we're coming at you with a little how-to. Today, we're going to be talking about how to embed some face cam footage over some gameplay footage. Really, it can be used for any sort of, you know, video in video. I say face cam because I do walkthroughs and let's plays and all of these things on my channel, so that's what I use it for. Hint, hint, check out my channel, plug, plug, plug. Anyway, uh, but you can use it any any sort of video over video, picture in picture. You can use this same process to do that. Um, so let's get started. First and foremost, uh, you need a copy of Cyberlink Power Director. Uh, I can't tell you how to get one for free. It is technically paid software, but you can buy it. It is well worth the investment. Or if you can find a free copy, winkity wink, good for you. Um, but it, as far as uh, it, it's a full, robust video editing software, so it comes with all the bells and whistles, uh, unlike the free ones that you can get, like the you know Windows, whatever, something, something. But it's very intuitive. It's super easy to use. I highly recommend it over a Lightworks, which is free, but is not user-friendly at all. You're going to be spending more time looking up videos on how to do shit than actually making videos. Uh, Sony Vegas is good, but again, it's paid software, so you might as well get Cyberlink because it's much easier to use for noobs like us. I'm a noob too, so if I can do it as a noob, then you can do it as well. So, first things you need, a couple of things, obviously, the, the Cyberlink Power Director. You also need video clips or plan on getting video clips, you know, because you're going to be editing stuff. So, if you don't have video clips, I really don't know why you're watching this, but thanks for the views, guys. Uh, feel free to watch my other videos. Um, and then you also need to ensure that your video clips have the same frame rate. So the FPS, frames per second is what that stands for, they have to be the same. So if they are not the same, and you can check like this. So I've got videos, I right click, I go to properties, I go to details, tells me frame rate, 30 frames per second. So I know that all of my clips are converted and at 30 frames per second. Whatever your frames are at, they need to be the same. 15, 30, 60, whatever. They need to be the same. So if they are not the same, if your cam, like my cam records at 15 frames per second. My uh, gameplay records at 30, so I have to convert my cam to 30. There is a video on my channel. Stop watching this. Hit pause. Please come back, though. And then go to my channel on popular uploads. It says how to change frame rate or frames per second. There's software. It's free. It's Again, really straightforward because I don't know the technical terms for things, but it will teach you how to change the frame rate. So, if all of your videos are the same frame rate, if you have a copy of Cyberlink Power Director, and you have video clips to edit, let's do it! Okay, so we're going to pull up our Cyberlink Power Director. Yada, yada, yada. It will come and it will load all of this crap. You can just... Control all right click remove from library because you don't want to use their stock footage you've got footage of your own so I'm just gonna take some evil within stuff that I've been doing so there's my cam footage it's just drag and drop super easy uh, it was the last one I made so drag and drop that so I've got my gameplay right there I've got my cam and then I use an intro as well the intro I actually made in power director as well so you can use it for other things besides just editing videos it's very very easy, user-friendly. I mean, just tinker with it. I had to play around to get this intro. It took me a little while, but uh, it's it's really, really intuitive. You're going to see how easy this is. It works uh, uh, on a kind of a layering, you know, system. So things are layered one on top of the other, and you just drag and drop. So we will start. First thing we want to do is put our uh, intro in. So we are going to drag. We're going to drop our intro into the first line at the top. This first one is actually the bottom most layer. So it's the top one because it's, uh, you know, the first. But first, if you're stacking videos, is the bottom layer. So what we want to put there also is our gameplay or whatever your major background, the, the, the larger portion of your video is going to be. That's what you want up top. So in my situation, it's gameplay. Yours, I mean, I don't know. It could be like a, you know, cooking show or how to tie your shoes. I don't know what you people do, right? So... We've got our gameplay up there. The second thing we put in is our cam. So we are going to drag to the second row, and you see this little red line? It wants to click. It wants to go right there. So that's where we're going to put it. Now you'll notice my giant face covers everything. Now you'll also notice there's these little bullets on the corners. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, double click, and shrink it. You see how easy that is? If you've tried to do face and cam footage with Lightworks, you know it is not that easy. And now we can take this and I can move it anywhere. Look at this. Bam. 
down here. Move it anywhere I want. You can literally drag, double click and drag your face cam or whatever you have overlaid of your you know, background video. Drag it anywhere you want to drag it. Just drag it. Uh, so now you have your intro, you have your gameplay footage, you have your whatever, in my case, cam footage. Now what you need is uh, to sync them together. So the way that I do it is actually just looking at the reflection and, and light pattern on my face. So you should have a rough idea of where you want to start and things like that. However, it, it's pretty easy to do it if you have cam footage, if that's what you're using it for, because games have explosions and changes of light. It, they go from light to dark, especially at the very beginning. That's why I always leave the beginning gameplay in, because it will transition. Look, it transitions right here from light to dark. See, it's super duper light, and then it gets super duper dark. So we are going to use that contrast to sync our videos. So I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to wait for that moment. Bang, just turned dark. So I paused it right after it did, and then this little button here that says previous frame, we are going to start clicking this until we get to the part where it is light. And you can see my drunky face moving along with it. Come on, fella. There we go. Okay, so let's make sure that's where it changes. Okay, so we can clip it right there because that's where it changes. Now, what we want to do is we want to clip them separately because they're different lengths. We're syncing them together. If they were the same length, they would already be synced. They're not. So what I'm clipping now is the gameplay footage. So you can see it's highlighted in blue. Uh, if you don't click on one or the other, it's going to clip them both, and you don't necessarily want to clip them both in the same place. So it's highlighted in blue. This little sucker right over here is our split. Split the selected clip. Yes, please. Boom. We are going to right-click this first portion, remove, and fill gap. So now we've got that starting at the dark part. Now we go down here and we can look. We can see right about where it seems to get dark. Let's see where that is. So we're going to see a big change in light at some point. See, ooh, my face is really dark there, but really light there. So again, play. Boom. You saw it get dark. So we are going to back up. Same method. We're, we're up here, previous frame. You, you know, you can go back, you can go forward. This is the forward frame. This is the way that I do it, and it gets it perfectly, 100% synced up. So as long as your videos don't have, you know, spots where, boom, there it is, and then I know the next one. Hello, next one. Boom, dark. So I click down onto my cam footage. That's where it went dark. I split, right-click the first portion, remove, and fill gap. Now, these things should be synced up. So let's find out where I start talking. And we will find out. You can see these little jumps down here. This is your audio. So I can tell that's where I'm going to start talking. And it should be right about the same time that I press the start button, because that's how I normally do it. What up, Dark Boom. We are what so let's move forward and see if we can find something to verify that these are synced together. Spoilers, you might see spoilers about things. Yep, I said that because the gun popped out. There we go. So we're going to watch a little bit, make sure everything is synced up good. Ooh, you see that? Watch that again. See the red light? You see how it flashes in the game, and it's flashing on my face. These videos are perfectly synced up. So at this point in time, all you need to do is just trim. So you can go to the very end of your video, trim it off wherever you stop talking. By clicking up here, the line will come through. You can clip that, and you're done. You've got it all trimmed up. So that's how you uh, edit in uh, Cyberlink Power Director. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. You've got everything trimmed up. If you want to see, if you want to see uh, finished, you know how it kind of comes together. So, uh, 
apparently there's loud music. Thumbs up, blah, blah, blah. So that's my ending. If you can see, I don't have one highlighted more than the other. So this, when I go to split, it's going to clip them both. So if you click on one, it's only going to clip that one. Click on that one, it'll click that one. So you can click out. What that'll do is take the highlight off of either one so that when you come over here to split, it'll split them both at the exact same spot. Come up here, remove. We don't need to add to timeline or remove, you know, and blend it together because it's just the end. Now you can come all the way back here to the beginning and you can split it wherever you want it to start. You know, I know I start talking a little ways in, so whenever that happens, Somewhere right around here. Does that look right? Yep. We can see the little marker right there. That's why I start talking. So again, we'll clip them both together so they stay in sync. Remove and fill gap. That's what I was trying to remember. Fill the gap. And boom, we have a perfectly synced video. It was really quick and easy. We just drag, we drop, uh, we, you know, move the cam footage around. We can still move it. We can move it right up here if we wanted to. Wherever we want to move it. So whatever is convenient for you, whatever doesn't block something in your game, move it there. And then... What up, homie? It. There it is. So with the intro together, it'll do this. Bam, you're done. Now you can do a bunch of other stuff here. They have transitions, so if you wanted to do any sort of transition from, you know, maybe your intro to your gameplay, you can come here, transition room, and then let's take burning, and we will drag it and stick it right at the very beginning of our video. So now, what up, homie? Star nice little transition. So that's pretty much it. You can do a lot more. Obviously, you can adjust the audio and things like that. This is the audio button here. This will be your gameplay because it's audio one, the first one. Audio two is your uh, cam footage. So I usually put my audio for the cam way up because the game will drown it out. So if you wanted to adjust your audio, that's how you do it. Just keep in mind that wherever your cursor is, that's where it's going to start. So you want to, uh, if you want to change the audio, you want to do it here. You want to put it all the way up. And then you want to go to the very end and put it all the way up as well. Because what will happen is, for some reason, it'll start really high and then it'll slowly go lower and lower and lower to normalize out. So you put them at the max wherever you want them at both ends of the video to keep it at that audio. Uh, and other than that, I mean, that that's pretty much it. So you guys have uh, your gameplay footage. You have your cam footage over your gameplay. If you have an intro, you have it on there. The way that I used to sync is, I mean, some people aren't as anal as I am. They can just go by when they start talking and know that they made a little gesture to the camera to know to cut it there. I like it to be exact, so I use the, uh, the light change, the, uh, the contrast uh, light and dark on my face to help sync my videos. It's a little trick that I've learned as a noob to help out noobs like y'all. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said, any comments, uh, anything that you think uh, I missed out on. Uh, again, I cannot help you get a copy of PowerDirector, but trust me, it is so much better to use PowerDirector than any other video editing software especially if you're just starting out. So uh, make sure you guys, if you found this helpful, subscribe, follow along. Uh, if you want to check out any of the videos I've got on my channel, I do have a couple of other how-to videos to help you make some thumbnails or change the frame rate of videos. And other than that, I will catch you guys on the next, maybe uh, YouTube noob, my YouTube noob homies out there uh, on the next how-to. If I think of anything that I think will help, I will pass it along. Darcella is out.